Hello, Sigma. So today I am back with another interesting problem from our video series on work and energy. What we have today is a car and uh, inside the car is a wedge on which there is a block of mass. So at first sight, this might uh, look like a pretty complicated arrangement, which it is. And this car is moving with an acceleration A0, A0. And as this car is moving forward, this block of mass M is at rest. So what you need to find is the work done by friction. So find work done by friction as the car moves by a distance x. So as the car moves by a distance x, you need to find the work done by friction. So before I tell you the solution to this problem, I would like you to try it out yourself for at least half an hour. And if you are not able to solve this problem even after trying for half an hour, then return back and uh, resume this uh, video and watch the solution. To solve this problem, what we need to do first is draw the free body diagram of the block of mass M kept on the wedge. So this is the wedge, which makes an angle theta. And on this wedge, we have the mass M. On this M, the forces which act are in, in the upward direction. There is uh, the force of gravity acting in the downward direction. And since uh, this car is moving forward uh, with an acceleration A0 and that a block is at rest, that would mean that there is a backward acceleration of this mass. That is, there is a force in the backward direction, which is a pseudo force, obviously, will act in this case. And that pseudo force will be M A0. Because only then the block will be at rest in the car's frame of reference, right? Since the block is at rest in the car's frame of reference, its acceleration in the backward direction has to be A0. Now, if I take the component of MA0 and MG along the plane, then what will I find? I will get MG sine theta in this direction. Uh, that is because this angle over here is going to be theta if this is theta and uh, this angle will also be theta that means i will get a uh, m a naught cos theta over here and uh, there will obviously be friction in the backward direction f r and hence uh, the equation of motion of that block of mass m will look something like this friction plus uh, m a naught cos theta is equal to mg sine theta and that would imply that the frictional force on the block is equal to m a naught cos theta with a minus sign because when it goes on the other side it will become minus plus mg sine theta if that is a friction force, then the work done by friction, let me call it WFR, the work done by friction would obviously be equal to FR dot X. If the body moves, moves by a distance X, then its uh, displacement vector is X vector. Now again, consider a block of mass M. If a friction acts in uh, this direction, obviously F1, and uh, if the block gets uh, displaced in this direction by an amount X, and if this is the wedge, and if this is theta, then this angle is obviously theta. That means that this would obviously be equal to pi minus theta because uh, this entire thing is pi, so that would be pi minus theta. 
And if that is the case, then what we will get here is that the work done by friction would be equal to fr x cos of pi minus t. That is how you define the dot product between two vectors. And cos of pi minus theta is nothing but minus cos theta. So I will get minus fr x cos theta. And then if I call this as equation 1, and uh, if I call this one as equation 2, then uh, what I'm going to do is put 1 and 2. So that I will be left with the work done by friction would be equal to minus fr was uh, uh, mg sine theta minus m a naught cos theta x cos theta. And that is exactly what we wanted to find. The work done by friction as the car moves by our distance uh, x. And that was all about this video. To motivate me to create more such interesting videos and problems, uh, please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to like this video. Thank you for watching.